Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Adelina Tibesikwa and today I'll be showing you how to do a cinematic color grading or fashion color grading. I don't know how to call this. No, it's cinematic. I'm aiming for cinematic kind of tone, you know. So when I started doing uh, retouching and fashion retouching uh, on my last year I guess uh, this this color grading was in was trending was really trending and let me give it a try today so the image is already edited uh, is already edited and stuff removing all distraction what I'm gonna do here is color grading and I'm gonna jump right in well the first step that I'm gonna do is add curves I love curves hope you have seen it on my previous tutorials and on RGB channel I'm gonna do it for contrast adding some contrast 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 <laughs> a little bit you know so adding some highlight on her then moving to blue blue channel on blue channel you see you see we are getting there just we're just getting started I'm just too excited it works okay okay so remember it's more like I, I just need a cinematic tone okay so i'm gonna i think i, I saw much of the bluish so i'm gonna add some bluish on the image mm -hmm. playing with some bluish okay yes yes mm, a little just i just don't want it to be dramatic and stuff but let's let's see let's see okay i'm not gonna tell yes mm -hmm. and then i think i like it not too much mm -hmm. and then moving to into lead channel on lead channel i'm gonna no i don't want to be so i don't want it to be overtoned i don't want our skin to be lead and stuff so i'm gonna reduce some red okay Re reduce some red mm -hmm. yes, yes yes right there right there no oh my god just to do it okay yes oh yeah we're good to go mm -hmm. i think i love it i think i love it i think i love it that way and the moving to green channel mm -hmm. yes little bit of on green channel i kind of you know it's really it's really struggling for me playing with green channel <laughs> okay yeah mm, yeah i think i like it i think i like it but yes i should do more you know okay yeah we're good to go really struggling on the green one i don't know why see the difference not that much of the difference and i think i need to desaturate it a little bit you know desaturate it a little bit okay hue i've just used my hue saturation and it desaturated a little bit uh, above like eight negative eight negative yeah negative eight and uh, my use saturation layer will be under my curve layer because of uh, on curve layer there's a contrast and I, I didn't want to jeopardize that okay and then i move it to selective color on neutral mm -hmm. gotta put some neutral there yes neutral yeah on the cyan part gotta play with cyan part and then move to magenta magenta is my best i love magenta yes pray with magenta mm -hmm. yeah i think negative to each it just kind of look like in the moody is it yeah i think that's what i'm going for that's what i'm aiming for <laughs> so let's see if we're gonna get it oh let's see if we're gonna get it oh if i'm gonna be satisfied oh i love what i'm gonna create okay if i will love the results and then move into my black channel okay hmm think yeah 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 ah. okay yes yeah she's just you know i'm doing this but on the other end be sure not to 
not to be sure on our skin tone the skin tone does look right okay so i'm not just doing this what i feel like i just need to be careful on our skin too not to change too much of our skin tone okay on black on black on black it's where much effects happen so if you want to add some effect on your image just choose selective color and add a bunch of and go to black colors and play with it and you see on yellow okay okay yes i think that's that's enough i love it i love it that way yeah so i did all this but making sure my curve layer is on top of everything you know is in top of everything you know context wise okay so i'm gonna i think i need to make a crop top is it crop top i don't know is it crop top okay yeah to make it pop okay so i'm gonna add some green there using hue saturation mm -hmm. and uh by adding that i think it kind of distracts our skin tone so i'm gonna use a layer mask and reduce i'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit and uh let's see and i'm gonna add some bright blends let's see okay i think i'm gonna go with vibrance make it vibrant doggo oh sorry <laughs> make it more vibrant not that much of a vibrance though okay going with it i think i love it i, I love where i'm going uh yes so i use and i just want a club to be more vibrant and yeah i think i love it there mm -hmm. so i'm gonna just hide them all i just i'm gonna use i, I used a layer mask to hide the most just to only be a, a club top you know this layer mask thing confuses me today it's hard to explain to somebody but i'm gonna make a tutorial about it just about layer masking okay yes okay and voila i think i love it yeah okay and i'm gonna group them see before and after see but all this color grading kind of affected the background it's it's dithered they call they call it dithered disc some kind of lines which i don't like to see in the on, on the background so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna duplicate my image and add noise pretty easy no confusion i'm adding some noise okay some noise yeah i think that that is enough and i'm gonna add a layer mask <laughs> and you see hide it and leave here the parts that i want to be seen and basically it's, the, it's on the background okay and i'm gonna reduce it my opus to i think 70 yeah 70 work i hope that noise kind of reduce those lines yes Mm -hmm. yeah and okay i love it i love this the noise effect my image kind of it's kind of cool okay yeah and by the way bianca looks pretty good <laughs> yeah this is my best image so far on this batch. If you want to see more images of Bianca, on it, go on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is Adirina Retoucher, and on Beans, just I just upload the whole project there. Okay. Sorry. See the noise, the difference of adding noise. Okay. I uh, think I'm gonna. You, reduce my opacity again because i think it's too much you know and then frighten my image and we're good to go i hope you guys like it and you learn something you learn something about it okay so that's it that's how i do car grading i was aiming for cinematic i think this is cinematic i hope or oh, if it's not gonna be cinematic then it's a fashion fashion thing and then color grading as i told you earlier color grading is about the feeling don't judge but make sure you 
know the basic stuff you know the rules to break the rules that's that's how it works so thank you till next time bye